How will I make my mortgage payment this month? What if I lose my home? Everything is on the line. Is your mortgage payment keeping you up at night? With 10 interest rate hikes since March 22, mortgage interest rates in Canada are skyrocketing, leaving many Canadians struggling to meet their mortgage payments. A March 24 Equifax report showed a 52% increase in mortgage delinquency rates over the past year. Consider this couple's story from the Globe and Mail. I have lost sleep about having our mortgage eat our income and the value of our house not keeping peace at all. We both work, have great careers, have no kids, and it still feels like we're in danger of going underwater with one really bad month. Or this individual whose mortgage interest rate jumped from 3% in 2018 to 8% in 2023. When it came due, I was practically in tears. We're barely making it. We're getting squeezed from every possible direction. Does this sound familiar? The Bank of Canada warns that homeowners renewing their mortgages will face sharp payment increases. The median monthly payment, what a typical homeowner might pay, is expected to rise by more than 60% for those with variable rate mortgages. The Bank of Canada's governor highlighted the risk. If more Canadians lose their job, the unemployment rate goes up. All of a sudden, that stress, that vulnerability is really at risk of crystallizing. More households won't be in a position to pay that mortgage, particularly given the larger reset. So it is a vulnerability. And the point here is households and banks need to get ahead of that. We know what's coming. The prevalent reason for people defaulting on their mortgage is due to reduced income caused by job loss, sickness, or divorce. So who's facing these higher interest rates? The impact of higher interest rates depends on the type of mortgage you have. Variable rate mortgages that move with the benchmark interest rate suffer an immediate impact of a rate increase. If you have a fixed rate mortgage, you are not impacted until your mortgage comes up for renewal. About 75% of variable rate mortgages in Canada have fixed payments. When interest rates increase, a larger portion of your mortgage payment goes towards paying the interest, and a smaller amount goes towards paying the original amount of money you borrowed. At a certain point, the mortgage payment no longer covers the interest portion. The interest rate at which that happens is known as the trigger rate. Often when you reach your trigger rate, your payment is increased to cover the interest on the mortgage. Some lenders may allow for your payments to stay the same, but the mortgage amount starts increasing instead of decreasing. Similar to unpaid credit card debt, you end up paying interest on your interest each month. This isn't a good thing. It can balloon your mortgage into an insurmountable mountain that may be much harder to pay down in the future. Like myself, you may have this tendency to avoid issues that you don't want to think about, ignoring the reality of what is headed your way. There is a famous quote, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Avoiding an issue that's coming your way is not serving you. Take the time to prepare yourself so that you have the best chance of coming out of this with both your home and your credit score intact. So what are some steps that you can take to protect your home? Number one, talk to your mortgage lender. If you have an honest conversation about your financial situation with your mortgage lender, they may work out an alternative payment plan. The worst thing you can do is go radio silent if you can't make payments. Lenders are seeking to work with borrowers and you may be surprised at the flexibility they are willing to offer. Number two, weigh out your investment's rate of return versus your mortgage interest rate. Look at the performance of your investments, such as those in your tax-free savings account. If the rate of return on your investments is less than the interest rate you pay on your mortgage, Paying off that mortgage first can put you in an overall better position. Let's say you had saved up $10,000 earning 4% interest annually, and it pays you $400 each year. Let's say you also have a mortgage with an interest rate of 7%. On a $10,000 portion of your mortgage, you are paying $700 in interest each year. When we compare the interest rate you earn from your investments with the interest rate you pay on your mortgage, you are actually losing $300 each year. You may consider selling some of your investments and using that money to pay down your mortgage to put you in an overall better financial position. Number three, prepay your mortgage when times are good. 
If your mortgage allows prepayments, think about putting any additional income you may earn like a bonus towards paying down your mortgage. You can throw money at your mortgage using mortgage prepayment allowances and shorten the term you'll be paying it back. Number four, play it safe and renew your mortgage with your existing lender. Instead of shopping for a new interest rate at renewal time, you may want to stick with your current lender. If you've been diligently paying off your mortgage, you can typically renew with that lender without having to re-qualify, even if you wouldn't be able to re-qualify based on today's rates. Now, if you're at a dead end with the above, here are some last resort strategies. I do not recommend these, but I want you to be aware of the options available to you. Extend the mortgage amortization period. The mortgage amortization period is the length of time that you pay back your mortgage. Extending the amortization is a popular option these days, with 25 year plus mortgages becoming the norm. Recently, RBC reported that 43% of its residential mortgages had amortization periods of more than 25 years. If you have 20% equity in your property, you may be able to qualify and refinance for a 30 year mortgage. This slows the pace at which the mortgage will be paid off, but lowers payments. This strategy should only be used as a last resort. It means you're paying a lot more interest due to the extended period. Plus, this could mean you still have a mortgage in retirement when your income is non-existent. Now we come to doomsday scenario. When should you sell your home? Hopefully, it will never come to this. If you've exhausted all your options and you can't make your mortgage payments, you may be forced to sell your home. In this scenario, sell it earlier rather than later. If your home is in foreclosure, where the bank seizes your property. You've lost all control of the process. Don't wait until that decision is made for you. If you have any other helpful strategies for managing your mortgage payments, please share it in the comments down below. See you on the next one.